Okay, now we're gonna test out our colored pencils. Always good when you're starting with a new media to test it out first, just do some playing around. So to start, sharpen all those pencils. If you do not have the Prismacolor set that I gave you guys, so this is the set that was handed out in your supplies. It's the 12 pencils that we've got a range of cool, warm, and neutral. So now that I have my chart, and I used my quarter, by the way, to keep the size the same, you can use whatever you want. Um, something about that scale. And before we start, not only are pencils sharpened, but I need to take up some of the graphite around my circle so it doesn't muddy my color and my colored pencils. So I'll just kind of wipe away, make sure it's with your kneaded eraser. If you don't have your kneaded eraser, your white eraser's fine, just don't push so hard. So that first one, that one I erased, and I'm gonna continue to do that with the others. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to shade them up. Okay, so go ahead and lighten up all your outlines. All right, now that my lines are nice and light and my colored pencil isn't gonna get muddied with the pencil. And remember, you can be on your white sketchbook paper, that's fine. Um, but it's kind of fun to see the color pop from the, from the gray. So we're just gonna start with the top row, which is our cool colors that we have pencils for. So I've got my violet first. So some tips about filling your circles. You don't want to fill with the tip of your pencil and burnish right away. You want to kind of keep a side angle and notice that I'm not holding my pencil down like an angry person, that I'm holding it kind of in the middle or you could even hold it towards the end. I like a middle. And then I'm going in small circles and they're not super tight. This is my first layer. So I'm gonna kind of go a little loose and a little light. And then for my second layer, I'll get a little tighter with my circle and a little bit more pressure. Okay, so we're gonna take that and apply it to our chart. So again, if you don't have the Prismacolor colored pencils, you can just do what you have in your set that correlates to what we're doing with the 12 pencils, or you can do it for all your pencils and kind of keep it to the warms and the cools. Um, and again, have those pencils nice and sharp, but I do want you to fill out the whole chart and try to keep good craftsmanship. We're looking for a medium value, not a really dark value, definitely not a super light value. So I'm just gonna kind of finish this one up while I'm talking to you so you can see my first example. And remember that that second time around, it's a little bit tighter and it's a little bit more pressure, but I'm not quite yet at full capacity with my pressure. And keeping my pen, my grip back here will kind of ensure that medium value. So there's my violet. I'm gonna to continue to craft it and I'm gonna work on my other ones. Okay, once you're done with your chart, yay, we're done. Stretch out your hands, do some arm exercises. I know my, from all the silly computer work that I'm doing, my hands are struggling a little bit, but remember you want a medium value. It doesn't need to be real dark, but also don't make it really light. It should pop off that gray paper. And if you're using white paper, same thing. You'll see a little bit of the grain of the paper, but not too much. So 
that's your assignment, that's your goal for the day. So post your little chart and post your start to your daily drawing in your slide that has your name on it. All right, have a good Tuesday.